Just admit that she's not good with animals? No, she's afraid of submitting her fears because that makes her look weak. Duh. Anyways, here's the reward money. Thanks again. Okay, slate wall. That took a lot of exchange and too much time just to get a slate wall. What does it do? Slate wall. Ailment resist. Up one. Sure. Power. One for remaining. You can return here anytime to taste the Ips Mounties. Otherwise, your class is complete. So, reward. Come back anytime. See you later. <sighs> the previous 30 seconds was from a recording prior to... This one, like maybe a few hours ago, when I first took my shot at the episode, and it's a little wonky. First of all, there's a bunch of mistakes, especially on the map. Like here, this doesn't exist, and I accidentally uh, added a wall down here, and amongst other things, the video itself was really boring, so I just told you to a few essential qui uh, clips and quips of uh, the episode I recorded Anyways, and it, it was a failure episode in my books, so I just kind of scrapped it. And I didn't want to scrap it all because there was a few details, duh, in them. So I, you know, reported the two quests in already. So there's that. We've accepted the rendering assistance, which we, which is mapping the 22nd floor. We can't do that just yet. Um, today we're going to continue. I'm going to finish mapping the 23rd floor and try to get, not to Colossus, but to get to the FOEs of Colossus, kill at least a few of them to make the way to Colossus easier, and then we'll have, be ready to face Colossus next up, so that's the plan today. Um, I, from, uh, let's go to the Germanic pool, let's make sure we have a wire out of there. Caught myself empty-handed. Get that out of the way. And with warp wire in hand, let us continue exploration of the 23rd floor. The game is really nice, and I don't know what causes it, but for whatever reason, the game is nice enough to give you the locations of all the FWEs already, so I don't need to walk everywhere. All I have to do is pay attention and get the map done, so that's what we're going to focus on. The easiest way to get around a few of these FWEs is to get behind ones like this one, which you can get behind instantly, and then haunt shot the death man. As the deep red FOE is not affected because obviously I could have gotten a preemptive on the red one. It's not going. It's not going to be those evil draws. It's going to be a uh, different FOE, I think. But I wouldn't know because I've actually never faced them. Believe it or not, I have not faced certain things. We got a deep red over there, facing my direction currently. Doesn't seem mad at me yet. Oh, the Death Man was temporarily mad at me, and then he forgot about me for whatever reason. Uh, let's get around here. Looks like another death man has found me. Slightly annoying as he's blocking the way to other places. Uh, mapping this place is hard because you have to look like in every direction every two steps if you want to make sure you map it all correctly. But it's not that huge of a deal. Now we can walk around. I think we can just quickly kill the death man and wouldn't it be of any detriment to me. As the encounter rate here is rather low, quickly killing this guy, probably not going to be a big deal. Let's, uh, swing all of our good stuff at him. And... That should do that. He stunned him, like, I don't think it does anything if he didn't get to go. So we do that again, and whatever he decides to do, we get to finish him off next turn, so there we go. He's been stunned again. This guy has a huge amount of defense, and he's also been poisoned, so he just died from poison. That's fine. Got a metal chip and a jet shard. I think we just got a conditional from the death man? I didn't know the death man had a conditional, but we're glad we got it. So, let's just, uh, keep going. Oh, and I've retracted the attention of the Deep Red FOE and the Death Man below. Spins a little... Hmm... Not much I can do. Uh, especially since this act- this hallway actually ends right there. I kind of pe- I just kind of pegged myself. No one to blame but myself. Uh, let's see if- Let's just warp wire out of here, sell that thing, and... 
buy another warp wire, I'm gonna have to continue exploration like that. You have to realize when you're- well, I could have hotshotted and continued downward, but the red FOE would just have been on my tail forever. And this is a good time to rest everyone up and see what this jet shard gives us. Wild beads. Beast armor? Best beast armor? Beast armor? Just regular beast armor? 117? Pretty good defense compared to all the armors, other armors I've been running into, so need that. Quickly rest at the end, go back up. I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Okay, we return to the 23rd floor. And we're gonna have to reinvestigate and re-traverse tra the tiles of pain around here. Uh, I'm gonna do the lower- I'm gonna do the left side. And then I'm just going to take what's on the left side and literally redraw it on the right side. Such that both sides look the same and mirrored. And such- and thus symmetrical. Cause that's what this floor is- entire floor is all about. If I get the left side right, then the right side will be right too. So let's just focus on getting that done. So de I think we're gonna start this time by following the Death Man instead. And I think that'll make it less likely for me to be seen by the Death Man. So let's just do this. Okay, Deep Red FOE is currently looking my way. Death, are death Men are traveling everywhere. Crap. I'm pegged between two deathmen. If I walk right in front of me, they're both gonna be after me. Okay. I thought they would have just started to swarm me instantly. Um I'm only gonna fight a deathman if I get if I can get a preemptive strike on him. Otherwise there's no good reason to. This is done completely wrong. This wall goes down twice. This wall goes down twice. Does that. Don't know what that does. Let's move this way. This is indented. Which means it probably does this. Move to the side. Deathman just found me anyway. Wouldn't have mattered. Uh, let's just. Should have moved backward. He's not in range of hotshot. So I have to move over one, and then he should be in hot shot range. Okay, we can s if the problem is I don't want to get a huge posse of them behind me, because then things get that make it makes it just even more difficult to avoid. Yes, I think I was right about that indentation, and I was also right about having to remove this wall. Let's continue going down here. Red FOE, I don't know which way he's facing because the map is not working with me today. Wand dense here. Okay. And if we dance a little, maybe I can get him out of his view. I think the other Deathman's lost interest in me. No, that Deathman pretty much still wants me alive. Okay. No, this isn't the actual way to get out. It has to go south even more, or... Did I miss my exit? No. Hmm. Don't know if there's a shortcut involved or what. Perhaps. I'm still thinking along the lines... But I've, yes, I've mapped this wrong. There's an entryway down here, but now the huge group of FOEs are going to be on my tail. That Deathman still hasn't left me alone. Okay, Deathman's going to leave me alone soon. What bugs me is all the deep reds around. Plus another Deathman. Oh. Okay, that deep red's going to start following me. And I have no choice but to make him, let him follow me. Deep red FOEs, you don't have a choice about controlling them. You can't control them. You have to wait for you, them to get out of your range. We're gonna have to- we're gonna stop the Deathman, though, cause... I don't- I don't want more than one FOE behind me. That's a certain death sentence. If I can avoid death, then... Just by not having other FOEs chasing me, then that's the option I choose. Okay, so I was right, and this leads to a door, which will get this deep red off FOE off my case. Okay, and with that mapped, I can assume, after we map this middle section, that the right, the right side will be exact mirror of it. 
except with FLEs in different places. So, this door leads up towards the Colossus. It actually leads into the FOE room just before them. Those are my targets for the day. I want to kill them in a little bit. And this is the door to the other side. So knowing this is symmetrical, I'm going to present you with a full map in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, took a little bit, but if the symmetry is correct, this is the map of everything excluding the Colossus area. And all I have to do really to finish putting it up as far as to clear this in. Now, of course, um, willing, I'm willing to test the symmetry and see if there's any extra stuff like a second mine point or something like that within the right side of the map, but um, we'll just kind of skip that for now and go in here and see if we can can't clear some of the FOEs before the Colossus. Okay, remember to look to your left and right, there's no peripheral vision in this game. Um, okay, so it's a layer of five FOEs. All of them are susceptible to, uh, to hot shots, so really you only need to, like, walk up a step, use hot shot, that will freeze pretty much all of them, and then kill the one directly in front of you, and that will pretty much clear you. But we're gonna fight all of these things. Walk forward, walk forward. They seem to stay motionless as to not make to make sure they're not susceptible to preemptive attacks. Smart little things they are. Let's walk right into this one. Got guardian. Party was blindsided. Uh, still don't have freedom unlocked. That's a little bit of a problem. It's just leg bound for now. Gadocious, Viper, Warcry, Dampen, and Ricochet. Don't think the oh no, these guys are s whoa, Viper and uh, Kadocious just by themselves murdered one of these guardians. That's pretty symbolic of how weak they are. Oh, another one spawned. Um, maybe it's impossible to kill all these guys. Let's use a hot shot. See if if these guys are alive forever, and if you have to, if you are, and if you can only trample one of them. It's like if I just use all the offensive stunts, what happens? Viper, tornado. Instantly kills it. Viper Tornado kills it. So I didn't even need Viper Kadosh. But if I move back, it responds. But it doesn't chase. And this is the Colossus' room right here, so I guess you have no choice and they, they're just infinitely responding FOEs? Maybe. Maybe just the one in the center is the one that's just the one that continuously responds. Let's test this, man. Science is all about testing. Let's kill this one. Blindsided. Okay, so if we enter them from the front, we're always going to get blindsided. So let's just use Viper Tornado if that's available. As we know, have already proven that that is, a, is an effective way of dealing with these guys. So if I kill this one, will the one in the upper left respawn? Yes. Okay, so they're infinitely respawning. Let's go back and kill this one. This one went for head instead, but it doesn't matter because these two are arms. All it's gonna kill is our accuracy. Now it's gonna kill a few more things. Okay, let's just quickly use Hotshot again and get out of here since we have investigated this. We now know how this works room filled with infinitely respawning guardians that don't give anything and are pretty much just classified as goddamn bats because they're not rewarding to kill there's lots of them and mm. where, where did you come from guess you i guess he responds whatever we got a preemptive on him just viper tornado him he's pretty dead okay so 
The only reason I can see is that if you don't kill this guy after his first turn of bindings, I guess he can be a problem. But besides that, that was the easiest thing in the history of Earth to get past, and it won't cost you pretty much anything in order to get past that. Alright. Now, the only thing I have to do is figure out the fastest way to get from point A to point- uh, to get from the pole to the Colossus without running into a single FOE, and if I can, I'm gonna see if there's a route that involves not, uh, having any of them- without having to use Halt Shot or Racket. Though I might just create the shortest possible route until, like, Racket points or something. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that planning now. I'm gonna brainstorm for a little bit. I'm gonna see you guys in a second with the map route in blue, so see you guys in a second. Okay, I found a route that is re which is the p fastest possible route with two places where you need to use Hotshot in order to not get creamed by FOEs. Uh, this is the most effective route here. It, it is, there's just no other way to go any faster than that, uh, using Hotshot in certain places. Uh, you will, the FOEs will, tr there will be a few F there is a red FOE that will try to chase you, but will completely never catch up to you, so, and because there's no encounter right here, it's pretty safe, this route is pretty safe. Uh, it does require the use of hot shots, and I don't see any real way of getting here quickly without using an FOE control move, so, there's that. <sighs> okay, so that's pretty much it for today on the 20, here on the 23rd floor, tomorrow we face, uh, not tomorrow, but, uh, Friday, day we fight Colossus, pretty big deal. Those of you who don't have FOE control stopping, um, I mean, Gunners, Beasts, Trogadors, are pretty common aspects of any given team. And if you don't have any of those, it's just kind of, I don't know how to help you. You're going to be t spending a lot more time trying to find an effective way of dodging the FOEs, and it's going to take longer for you to reach the exit without any FOE control moves, but there is not a doubt that it is doable. So that's the advice I got for you people. I hope you have the best of trial and erroring in order to figure out the route that's best for non-FOE control. But FOE control pretty much makes it to where you can take the fast road to the Colossus. And I, don't, I didn't bring a warp wire, so I'm having to walk back manually. So, yeah. Hmm. Alright, see you guys next time.